Hello, Tubies. This is another episode of Picking Perspective. I am filling in for Dancing Rabbit again. We are moving right into the topic of this week, and that is hard and soft paganism and outlook at deity kind of thing. And while hard and soft might bring less than innocent images into your mind, um, we're actually talking about uh, people who view the divine as literal entity beings, and then people who view them as more symbolics of uh, labeling energies, if that makes sense. So let's start off with hard paganism. Hard paganism would mean that you look at the uh, divine as a literal being, as in kind of the way I think of it whenever I think of this, I think about the Christian's outlook on God, which I never fully agreed with. Which was why I found Wicca, but anyway, um, I kind of view it as the Christians view their God most of the time, if I'm correct. They view him as being a literal being, sitting up on a cloud in heaven, watching over us at all times, and they believe that whenever we go up to heaven, we will be able to interact with him, and they also believe that we could interact with them right now, like, as in... I guess play poker with them, I don't know, like, I don't really know how to describe hard polytheism because it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and I've always thought the other way, <laughs> but, I don't know. Um, anyway, hard polytheism is where you believe the the god and god are beings like me and you are, and that you could sit and have a conversation with them. And while I somewhat believe this, um, I believe more of the soft polytheism argument. Um, and there are many different, I guess you could say, branches of soft paganism, but uh, my outlook on deity, I guess, is what I'll talk about since that seems to be what the question's kind of getting at anyway. My outlook on deity as is that there is this energy in the universe that we cannot label and we cannot name and we cannot describe and that energy could be called the divine or the universe or the creator or god and goddess and anything really I feel that our human minds cannot comprehend the amount of energy and just so complexedness of this being um, that we have to create images for it in an effort to draw ourselves closer to the god and goddess as I like to view this energy. Many people will personify this energy even further by picking a Patreon god or goddess as much as I have and in my experience they pick you instead of you picking them. But, anyway. So, I view them as more symbolic, and I feel that we as human beings have created these images, these personas, for this energy that we cannot label, an effort to draw closer to this energy. I mean, honestly, what purpose would the divine have for looking like a female or a male, or being either gender or any gender, and what purpose would it be to look like a human? I mean, I don't really think it looks like anything, and I think that's so far beyond our human concept that we have to make it look like something for us to worship it. And so that is my outlook on divinity and hard and soft paganism. <laughs> I think that's all I've had to say. I feel like there's more. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But anyway, I guess I'll see you folks later.